this Wednesday edition of Afternoon Express from Zanzi. I'm Balisa Dembe and today we're taking care of our well-being by focusing on self-love and self-care. I'll be indulging in an uplifting hand spa that you can try at home with your face products. The honest PT and former gymnast Jared Master joins us in studio to give us a workout with real insight into what it takes to transform your body. And kicking it all off is TikTok star Whitney Ramabulana as she chats to us about the importance of loving and being your true self. Now tomorrow is officially going to be the, si the last quarter, rather the final quarter of 2020. So we want to find out from you on social media, what are you most looking forward to in this next three months? But ladies in the kitchen, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, South Africa. It's your one and only Chew Me on the ones and twos. And today, I am not riding solo. I've got your loved Ro Jinja in the kitchen with me today. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. What's Ooh. good? What's up? <laughs> All's good in the hood, man. But today, we're going to be making a tasty recipe. We're going to be making a spiced milk creme brulee. And to get all the recipe details, head on over to afternoonexpress.co.za. But for the moment, let's catch up with Whitney Ramabulan. Self-love not only gives us a more positive outlook towards life and changes our perspective, but it also plays a key role in our mental health and our well-being. Joining us today is 28-year-old Limpopo-born Whitney Ramubulana, who, with over 14.8 million likes and 1.1 million followers on TikTok, is one of South Africa's most popular women on TikTok right now. She's here to chat to us about the importance of finding your shine through self-love. Whitney girl, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Whitney, you are a TikTok sensation. Despite being fairly new to the platform, you've only downloaded the app in 2018, but now you've got 1.1 million followers. What drew you to TikTok and why do you choose the content that you make? Um, so the first time when I saw a TikTok video, I was very drawn to it because it was relatable and also uh, I felt like I can actually fit in because it was not too glamorous. <laughs> I was actually literally saying to you just now that you don't even have one stitch of makeup on and you are looking incredible. I mean, you're definitely shining from the inside out. And I love the fact that you found something that's just real, authentic and allows you to be you. Now, you have a day job too, okay? You are a senior financial administrator for an IT company. Now, how do you balance the two? And are you as funny and as open at the office? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think right now, um, because there's more brand campaigns, so balancing the work, it's ugh. more difficult than it looks. It's, yeah, it's, it's not as easy as people think it is. Um, and actually, uh, at work, I am the total opposite. <laughs> I'm like so quiet. And I'm sure my employer and my colleagues, when they Look at my videos, they're like, no, that's not with me. You went viral after posting a runway walk video, and this received more than 23.2 million views and 2.5 million likes. And apparently, it was even reposted by Oprah on her Instagram. So tell me about that story. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And when I posted that video, I had no idea it was going to go viral. For me, it was just a normal catwalk video but then the next thing i just my phone just started blowing up and people are like you need to go on twitter you are now a meme because of this catwalk so it was really amazing to see that inspiring and encouraging other women to be themselves and love themselves is very close to your heart why is self-love so important to you uh, self-love is important to me because i didn't have that um and now just talking to my girls, I always make sure that you need to be confident, you need to love yourself, you need to uh, don't compare yourself with other people. So for me, having self-love is more important because it just raises your confidence level as well. How have you found your shine and your way of self-love? So it's been a journey um, and for me, um, right now my confidence level is on a level, on, on a scale of one to ten, I'll say a thousand. So <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yes. Uh, so it, it, it's been a journey, but uh, bit by bit, I make sure that every day when I wake up in the morning, I make sure I tell myself that I'm amazing, I'm gorgeous, I'm fierce, you know, and just get through the day. 
Wow, I love that. You know, affirmations and mantras are key because sometimes we just don't feel that shine coming organically and we have to revive it and, and you know, put a lifeline on yes. it to, for it to resonate within us. But Whitney, um, all the best with your journey and TikTok and in social media in general. I love the fact that uh, you're such a shining light to all the other young girls, whether they're in corporate space or in the entertainment space, to follow in your footsteps. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you so much. It's a brand new week and a brand new opportunity to find your shine your way with Big Soleil. There are three big Miss Soleil sensitive hampers to the value of 500 Rand each up for grabs each week for the next two weeks. All you have to do to win one of these three hampers this week is to tell us what's something you do to find your shine and love yourself a little more using the hashtag your shine your way. Share your answer on the competition post on Afternoon Express's Facebook or our Twitter page and Cross your fingers. This week's competition closes at 6 p.m. this Friday, the 2nd of October. Your shine, your way with Big Soleil. You've got me laughing here. What were you saying? <laughs> Goodness, honey, that skin. Right? She looks so young. When I heard her age, I was like, there's no way. Mm -mm. There's no way she's no, 28, mm -mm, right? No. She doesn't look a day over 15, Stop. to be honest, honestly. Melissa. I was looking at self-love. It makes sense why she's loving herself. Because she's probably only going to start aging at the age of 50. I love that. And you know what, Raw Ginger, I'm so glad that you brought up that anti-aging element that the skin has to have these days. Mm -hmm. Because shortly, I'm going to be giving the viewers some of our tips and tricks as to how we not only keep our face intact, but our hands too. But for now, if we just head over to social media like we always do we've asked you what are you most looking forward to as we head towards the end of the year we are in the final quarter of the year so a lot of people have some very very big dreams we've got Kenilwe here and Kenilwe says I'm looking forward to a productive year getting a job changing my home situation hashtag afternoon express we also have Inda who says mostly looking forward to getting a job fingers crossed fingers crossed with hearts going all the way around are we sending all those fingers crossed right back we also have anthony here and anthony Uti, obviously getting a job most challenging aspect of life nowadays hashtag afternoon express i don't know ladies it seems like a lot of people are feeling the need to provide for their families to be productive and do the most mm -hmm. so i don't know how you ladies are feeling about all those comments wanting a job i actually understand because at some point in my life i was the breadwinner so knowing the fact that they're not just doing this for themselves so the getting the job part is not just about me having money and being flashy but it's actually about changing the situation not just for myself but for those in my in close proximity with yeah. me so I get exactly what they talk about. I hear you too and for yourself Ginger I don't know how much that sparks a chord in your, ha your heart. Well it does because okay yes it is very difficult to get a job these days but I feel like now we have more just hustle, yes. you know, just come up with something, just hustle, make it for yourself. Do you know mm. what I like about that? It's showing the versatility and the flexibility we have to yeah. have right now mm. and the imagination. You know, we True. need to be able to think outside the box, the box. and hustle. Mm. What can I do? What job can I provide? You know, I was actually speaking to an elderly in the family and they were saying that the biggest message now is maybe not to be hired but for you to make something and hire others True. job creation yeah. is what it's Thank all about you. but South Africa we're enjoying your comments keep them coming use that hashtag afternoon express on Facebook Twitter or, or Instagram and then who knows we might be reading out your name right here on our show live now the feeling of knowing something like the back of your hand is certainly being heightened especially in 2020 so what with all the proper hygiene protocols we need to follow so Coming up, we show you a rejuvenating and uplifting hand treatment that you can try at home.
even Start. even more of a battering. Second, third, third fourth. 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 Uh, frequent hand washing strips the skin of its natural oils, which hands have relatively little of to begin with. Throw in the use of a hand sanitizer, which has a high concentration of drying alcohol, and you've got a recipe for dry, chapped hands that look older than they age, than they years. Someone who knows this all too well is Mo Muteki, one of our incredible hospitality and catering interns who has the softest hands ever. And need not forget our darling chef Jumi here, who knows all about the constant washing of hands in the kitchen. So today, we are going to show you how to use your facial product, your facial skin product, to pamper your hands and bring back that youthful plump. Okay, cool, we go. We go. We go. So, oh, to give you a, a heads up, the only two... Back to Afternoon Express. Now, with skin stripping sanitizers and increased sun damage accelerating aging, the need for hand treatments is on a rise. Hands have always been one of the biggest age giveaways, and since COVID-19, the skin on our hands has taken even more of a battering. Frequent hand washing strips away the skin of its natural oils, which hands have relatively little on to begin with. And throw in the use of hand sanitizers, which also have a high concentration of drying alcohol. And you've got a recipe for dry, chapped hands that look older than their years. So someone who knows this all too well is Mo Muketi, one of our incredible hospitality and catering interns. And she's... Oh, honestly got the softest hands ever and how can we forget our darling chef Chumi and she is a pro when it comes to the kitchen but that also comes with a lot of hand washing so today we are going to show you how to use your facial skincare products to pamper the hands that you have and bring back that youthful plump now ladies I'm very excited to have this conversation with you guys and you guys are also going to be sharing your tips and tricks yes I'm excited too I mean I came across this um, Afridome products um, during the course of lockdown obviously um, having to deal with um, washing your hands constantly and uh, just being at home and having to get like very busy in the house yeah. getting your hands dirty and stuff like that so I figured why not we use uh, my makeup products or my skincare products that I've been using for mm -hmm. my face why not use them on my hands and see how it actually turns out and since then it's been amazing honestly. I know can I tell you something South Africa it's so funny that you say that because we can't shake hands these days yeah. we're only elbowing but yeah. I can see the shine in those hands girl <laughs> so I know what we love to use for our first step is of course this magic micellar water because we always have to start mm -hmm. with clean hands yeah now we're just going to add a little bit of a squirt into our water as you can see we've got some lukewarm already um, clean water in here and essentially ladies you know if you really want to get the full benefit of your skincare products you have to use this three-in-one micellar magical water mm -hmm. this acts as a cleanser a toner and a dirt or grime remover. Now, I know, to me for yourself, you're always dealing with some dirt <laughs> and grime. I mean, look at this already. I've just put my hands in here, put the micellar water, and already the water's getting mm -hmm. cloudy, mm. which means that it actually is cl uh, cleansing my hands perfectly the way I need them to because we're constantly washing our hands. Yeah. But I know the one thing with micellar water, it yes, it takes away the grime, but it also gives you that moistur yeah. moisturization, which in most cases, you wash your hands, most people have to go rush and get lotion yeah, and get uh -huh. something. Mm -hmm. So at least you know it's doing something for your skin. 
skin even though you're washing the hands at that mm. time. Absolutely, because you know there's nothing worse than taking your hands out of water and they're as dry and as mm. chipped and as scaly Girl. as when you put them in there. So ladies, I have to also just move on to our second step here. Okay. For me, the second step has changed the game when it has come to my face and everything I use on my yeah. face. And that's essentially South Africa, this second step peeling gel. Now I know we know a little something about this peeling gel, <laughs> hey ladies. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it honestly because when I started using it on my face, I could see the results just after <laughs> like a few times using it. And I was like, no, I definitely need to keep using this on my hands too. I, so, would, mm -hmm. I think that's a very important thing because people don't understand that our skin on the, f on the face is probably mm -hmm. the most sensitive. So again, okay, if you can use something on your face, then you can definitely use it on your, on your hands and the rest mm -hmm. of your body. And if, it, if it's peeling away dead skin, which I know I deal with because I'm, my hands are constantly dry because I'm always yeah. washing. So the peeling means that it basically rejuvenates my skin yeah. and Afriderm, this product here, is perfect for that. I love it too. And for me, the game changer is yes, we washed our hands with the magical micellar water mm -hmm. but that just takes off the surface dirt yes this peeling gel goes way deeper than deep skin <laughs> deep it gets all the dead it gets skin. all the dead yeah. skin cells out absolutely mm. mo and that's what i love and you can physically see yes. the skin lifting mm. and that's when you know you got a winner and all you need is just a little drop mm. you really don't need that much you just have to have just a little drop on there mm. and you're good to go you know what they say yeah. a little bit goes a I long know. way <laughs> so so true I love that, ladies. Okay, so we have to move on to step level three. Now, this for me, oh, because sometimes I ain't got the time and I'm just trying to take shortcuts, you know, and this is what I've learned. If okay. you want great, healthy skin, there is no such thing as shortcuts. Mm. So this next step is best used in the morning. I mean, Definitely. this is a great time to add the serum with Anti, with um, antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And this essentially will protect your skin from free radicals that you interact with throughout yeah. the day. And yeah. it also helps to ensure that the skin on your hands receives that boost and that mm. nourishment that you so desperately need. So all you do, you take that off and you you ladies have already pumped, pumped. Girl, we're <laughs> way ahead of you. I mean, way we've ahead. been locked down for too long. We haven't had the chance to get hand treatments and pampering. No, not so at this all. for me is basically covering You've that. You've had right to now. learn to do your own hands. And you know, <laughs> so this is the exact treatment we've been needing yeah. and I'm glad to be having it right now. I know, I'm also glad. You know, there's something silky about mm. the application oh, as well. Every product just smells like a dream, South Africa. It really does smell like you're adding something so beautiful onto your skin. But also, you might think that all because it smells good, that it's perfumed. It's actually not perfumed at all. Mm. So for people who have sensitive skin and who might not be or might have um, sensitive sinuses, mm. to smell and it might be just a bit too sharp this is the perfect neutral for you definitely yeah, yeah i agree yeah now i know that you are a mother mo yes and you know you're a mother to the most beautiful little baby and you know she sends me pictures south africa and i'm always like kiss those cheeks for me i just love it so yeah. how important is it for you to just walk into the house knowing that you're not essentially harming your child with the mm. dirt and the grime and some of the bacteria that you engaged with outside or at work and you're making sure that you're coming into an environment where your child is safe yeah definitely um, so what i do is i have these in my bag i have the <laughs> <laughs> i have the micellar water with me wherever i go and i have the hand cream as well and it helps a lot because mm. um you know applying a lot of sanitizer and just soap washing your hands all the time on the go those dry your hands so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. and so when you have a hand cream well Afridom hand cream yeah. it goes a long way because it just moisturizes your skin and, locks and that definitely takes away the dryness and um, helps to keep and repair your skin as well so I would definitely like encourage any other person to have it too in their bag because yeah. Yeah, it, it does. always helps. Okay, so mm. something else that has helped me, mm. as much as we always say SPF is incredible for the face, don't forget SPF mm. for the face. Definitely. What about SPF for the hands? Yeah. When you're driving, your hands are exposed mm -hmm. to the sunlight. Yeah. When you're engaging with different elements. So, I'm going to change it up a little bit. <laughs> you know our day cream that has 15 SPF? Mm -hmm. You add that to your skin and you might think that okay that's your moisturizer done and dusted mm -hmm. but no what i would like to say is use this just for the spf 
And then, as soon as that has been moisturized all the way in, ladies, you do Mo's point. You go doubly with the moisture and you add in the hand and body lotion. Yeah. And for me, using the two side by side has been a definite game changer and something that has truly helped my skin bounce back from the cruel world that 2020 has <laughs> welcomed us to. Mm. So thank you so much, ladies, for joining me. This thank has been you. a lot of fun. It's Talk fun about amazing. girl chat. <laughs> now, it's never too early to start an anti-aging hand care routine. Just like your face, your hands need to be well taken care of in order to protect themselves against visible signs of aging. So if your hands are begging for some TLC, follow our advice and treat them to a spa day. <laughs> You're beautiful, love the shade of your skin, an all-in-one solution for beautiful skin. How enriching was that? Oh, great. My hands are loving this. Can we <laughs> I do know. this every day? <laughs> now, girl, we got a job to do. <laughs> this was just a little treat that Afridome decided to, you know, for us to give to yeah. our people, we need to also impart our wisdom. So shout out for that little one-on-one -on -one TLC moment. But speaking about TLC, mm -hmm. heading into the final three months of 2020, girl has got me shook. First of all, this year sped by. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe we're at the end of, or, of September. I think that's the thing that hit me. I'm like, are we really on the last three months of the year? Yeah, girl. It's gone by that quickly. Believe it. So why? what better than to head over to our viewers and ask them, what are you guys looking forward to the most as it comes down? as we draw an end to 2020. We've got UKB and UKB says, hey fam, I haven't traveled in a while. Looking forward to business travels, vacation, vacations, and just more travels in the next three months. Hashtag Afternoon Express. We also have Nick and Nick says, hello Afternoon Express. I'm looking forward to the December holidays to see my family and friends. Uh, so it's clearly our viewers wanna hop on a plane, get on a bus, get into a taxi or a train and just go somewhere. I know, like I have been wanting to learn how to ride a bike. So hopefully girl can put herself on and just ride a bike. Mm -hmm. I wanna do so many so many things, but I, I will I will fill you in because I've got a list. Okay, I wanna find out guys throughout the show. I wanna find out more <laughs> about that towards the end of the show. We also have here Ulungile and Ulungile says mostly to celebrate my birthday. The rest will follow. <laughs> I love that Lungile. I Lungile, you are my fighter because essentially lock lock low-key lockdown has got me so excited for my birthday. My birthday is in December. So Lungile, are you a Sagittarius like me? Please do let us know under your comments when your birthday is because we would love to wish you a happy birthday on your day. And of course, what's your star sign? Do you believe in star signs? Either way, I'm also looking forward to December to come, honey. I am ready. Girl. So, if we continue reading, Matt says, celebrate my son's birthday and mine too. You see, we've got a whole lot of birthdays coming up. <laughs> so South Africa, I'm loving the fact that we're a family. We're going to celebrate together as we always do. Mm. Domi, do not go anywhere because the show has only just started. Now, did you know that um, you have? we have been doing uh, the best, of course, to keep you informed as to the coup 80 years birthday? Now, this milestone was celebrated with the hostess, with the mostess. I'm talking about Lona Masego, and they held a virtual lunch. So coming up, we'll show you what all went down.
Welcome back to our Wellness Wednesday edition of Afternoon Express from Zanzi. Now, in celebration of reaching the 80-year milestone, Ku brought all the excitement and cheer to South Africans with a virtual celebration this past Saturday. SA's very own culinary princess, Lona Maseko, hosted the celebration as she demonstrated to her tuned-in audience her Ku lunch to mark this auspicious occasion. Friends of the brand and South Africans from all walks of life were transported to an unforgettable virtual experience packed with delicious food and gripping South African entertainment in celebration of all that makes us proudly South African. Heritage Day means a celebration of who we are as South Africans. It's our vibrancy, it's our love for life, it's our colorful country. Um, it's about celebrating me as a Motswana, you know, uh, or somebody else as a Zulu person, or Tsonga, or whatever it is. But it's just really just a culmination of who we are as a country, and it's a day that we celebrate that. Celebrating this amazing milestone with Ku is absolutely amazing. Firstly, they had me at celebration. Secondly, I thought 80 years, what an amazing thing. And how many brands can look back and say they've been around for 80 years. And beyond that for me, it's about being in our homes. You know, I think about the chakalaka my mom used to make, the three bean salad, all those things just, just scream coup for me. And to celebrate a brand that's been part of our homes, our hearts, our kitchens for so many years, it's just absolutely exciting. My thoughts behind the menu was to show how versatile and how diverse crew products are and how they can be incorporated in almost everything. So I love the fact that the products are also sustainable. You can use the tin from top to tail, so the entire thing. But the biggest thing for me is the fact that it's the versatility of product. It's not just one dimensional, so you can't be like, oh, I can only make starters. But there's starters that you can make main course, you can make desserts. Um, our dessert is a jelly and custard with ku peaches and some pistachio nuts with some honey so really just diverse easy accessible products that you can use in your home ku has found a way to make your kitchen life or your home life so much easier and then it makes your time in the kitchen a lot more fun because you know you're not laboring for too long It's a good day to celebrate an iconic brand today and I'm so excited to be sharing this amazing moment with you. My name is Lona Maseko and it's an absolute honor to officially say happy 80th birthday, Ku. A brand that is truly South African and iconic for most South Africans. We, it was really important for us to ensure that we invite everyone to celebrate with us this big milestone as, as a brand that's been part of South African households for over the past 80 years. So we're really looking forward to spending more, uh, sharing more moments with you guys and really celebration was very important for us to ensure that you guys are part of it. My oxtail has been cooking for hours. It's over here and ready. I'm gonna just literally add some of the butter beans and they're nice and creamy, which is what I like. Who is a brand that's for the people and with the people? This is our 80th birthday, as you all know, and we wanted to have a, a campaign that will really connect with consumers emotionally and also honor and our, our loyal consumers that have been with us for the past 80 years. So we wanted to gift them with some beautiful gifts and prizes that we've been running in store, on radio, and also um, with social media. So bringing that whole everyone's invited messaging to consumers. People missed out many moments with their families during COVID-19. They couldn't experience this simple Sunday lunch or just a birthday or a graduation and we want to say to everybody in South Africa we love you and thank you thank you for 80 years of great support thank you for being with the brand and thank you for just enjoying the birthday with us it's been truly amazing to you Mzanzi have a great time and thank you love cool put your hands together for Durban Coco Heritage to me means, you know, where you come from, um, where you're going, what makes you you, your morals, your values, your background, and um, basically your future. Koo beans is part of my heritage because obviously, you know, the most South African salad ever, some koo beans and some mayonnaise, you mix it up, it's one of my favorites. There's not a single household you can go to and you don't find cool beans in the cupboard and I'm definitely looking forward to tasting Lona's food. Happy birthday Koo! Yes! 
Ayaku has been part of our lives, you know, like Ayaku Mutong Ayazi Ku Big Beans, Ayaku Mutong Ayazi, Amaku products, Ama it I like Ama teen teen stuff, you know. So it's been part of our heritage in Alun Lale and uh, yeah, I'd like to say happy birthday Ku. Oh, oh, happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. Wow, first of all, shout out to Lorna Maseko, a proud family member. Girl, I wish I was there shaking it up with you and Koo. But ladies, you guys are no strangers to the kitchen. When you see a celebration going down like that, for a brand that's been a part of the South African heritage and our South African story for years on end, 80 years to be specific. Exactly, girl. And in most, in all those years, Growing up, all I knew was to use Koo in my kitchen. There has not been a celebration, there's not been a, a dinner where we've not used Koo something, either the peas, the baked beans. And we were having a debate uh -huh. about something, her and I. The baked beans and mayonnaise, is it a salad? Is it a relish? Is it a side Oh dish? my, that is guys. It is a we debate. We need answers. We need answers. <laughs> We do need answers. South Africa, please do head over to our <laughs> social media platform. Let us know. Do you consider, I consider it a salad. I call it a bean salad. Some people even call it a three bean salad to take it up a notch. Mm. I would love to find out because that is a proudly South African Ooh. dish, I would say. Yeah, definitely. And you know, I was saying to Lona Maseko on Monday, Uguti, hey, jokes aside, that's how I get down with my chakalaka. I just come with the pot and make as if I cooked it myself. Can't I just put it in the microwave? But Ku has always been there. It's the consistency for me. Always tasting the same. Always a premium product. Mm. The quality of it. Yeah. I mean, if I still look into the market right now with all the products that are out there, Ku still stands out. Love it all. I also feel like the first thing that you remember when the word coup comes up, it's just your childhood. Mm. Like there are so many things at a table and it could be salads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, those salads, like maybe like three or four of them, coup. Love that. Okay, so from celebrating coup to celebrating all of our viewers online. Hi. You guys have showed up and showed off. I'm so excited. Shout out to everyone tuning in on YouTube right now, whether you're throughout South Africa, the continent of Africa, or global. I know some people always holler at me from London to say, hey, the UK says, we see you after New Express. Thank you so much. So talking about that, if we were to just read a comment as to what everyone has to say with the end of 2020, Urutendo says, I wish those three months can just vanish. Just wake up in the morning and boom, it's December. Hashtag after New Express. I can't wait to go home and see my family it's been a tough year and uh with all this corona pandemic so yeah a december with friends and family will ease all the rough 2020 memories all right south africa continue with those comments and add that hashtag after new express but rutendo girl i feel you now with summer approaching and the real possibility of lockdown weight gain if you haven't set up your home gym yet it's a great time to start so coming up we're joined by the honest pt jared mustard as he shares, shares a great exercise that you can do at home.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Jared mastered a former gymnast who went to study sports science in Stellenbosch University, is now a full-time personal trainer and is effectively known, affectionately uh, known as the Honest PT. And I want to find out more about that. Now, he joins me to discuss some fun exercises that everyone can do at home whilst debunking some common exercise myths as we go along. Now, Jared, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. I'm already out of breath because of the <laughs> anticipation of it all. But people call you the honest PT. And we want to go through some four exercises that everyone can try at home. And we find out what's get down, get down to the bottom of this honest PT. You Absolutely, ready? Absolutely, yeah. Definitely. Cool. So to get started, basically this ex this uh, workout rather is uh, basically going to be mostly emphasis on the glutes. Oh. So uh, a little bit on the glutes and then also on the abs and also a little bit on the shoulders. So the first exercise is going to be what we call a staggered stance deadlift. Mm -hmm. So how you set up is basically you start with your one foot in front of the other. Um, you want probably about two foot lengths away from the, the front one and you want to put all your weight on your uh, front foot itself as well. Okay. The back foot is on the toe and just slightly basically just there for balance. Okay. okay. Cool. So how you start is basically you want to push your hips back as far as you can until they can't go anymore and then you're going to slowly start bending your knees down until you get to about here. Okay, okay this is your starting position. From here you want to make sure that your uh, chest is out a little bit and that your back is nice and straight and then you're going to start pushing through the front heel and slowly coming back up. Okay, so basically you're going to go hips back, bend down, Nice. And back up just like that. What you don't want to see is you don't want to see any rounding of the spine like this and you don't want to see any arching of the back. So okay. just, it's what we call hip hinge. So basically just as your hips go back, your chest goes forward. It's hinging like a door essentially. <laughs> yes. But I see that you've also got some rubber here for us. Yes. So do you want to take this exercise up a notch for those people who are quite experienced in the gym and have been working out throughout lockdown, this might be simple for them. So what else can they do to just step it up a notch? Absolutely. So resistance bands are one of my favorite things to use, especially if you are at home because it's one of the cheap alternatives to weights. Weights are usually quite expensive and these are relatively inexpensive and also really easy to travel with. Okay. So what you usually want to do is you want to put your wrist inside, then you're going to grab hold of it. So you got the, the big one there, so let's <laughs> see how this is going to work. So you're going to put your one foot on top of the other and then you're basically just going to do the same movement. So start nice and tall, wow. hips back, slowly yeah. down and then back up again pushing through that heel. So when you push through the front of the heel, um, that usually gives it more emphasis on the glutes and you really start to feel it after a while. Stunning. So your love for fitness and all things exercise, where did it start off while she just talked us through the first and the next exercise? <laughs> sure, so yeah, so um, my love for, for exercise started with gymnastics really. Um, <laughs> I, I did it for, for many, many years. Yeah. Um, and then from there, I just kind of naturally graduated to more uh, doing fitness and more weights and that kind of thing as well. Um, so I really grew a love for lifting weights, especially since my base was more body weight stuff. I love that. You see someone who is being able to be flexible even with their workout. So I love the fact that you're not only transforming your body but transforming your mind to think out of the box even with exercise. What's Absolutely. the next one? Cool. So the next one is going to be a, a piked push-up. So how are you going to start this one? This one, by the way, is, is a love-hate relationship with most of my clients, by the way. So the reason why is generally because it's a really, really good exercise but it's quite a tough one. Okay. okay. <laughs> so how you start is basically you're going to be in a regular push-up position. And then you're going to walk your feet as close uh, as close as you can to your hands, not too close, but just enough that your um, weight is still on your hands. Okay. Now you're going to try and make a triangle with your hands and your head, and you're going to try and slowly bend your elbows down and get your forehead as close as possible to the ground as possible. And are we straightening our legs here or are we bending them? <laughs> so you can bend them a little bit if you want, that's fine. Okay. And then slowly down. Now, this is quite a tough one, so if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can widen your stance or slightly bring your stance back a little bit more. But you oh, want to make sure that the, the hips stay in the air because you want to focus on those shoulders. Okay. So slowly going down and up. Stunning. And then the third one? <laughs> <laughs> so the third one is going to be using the chair. Yes. So. I love using everything that we have around the house, whether it's juice bottles, water bottles, or a chair. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> so make sure, first of all, that you have a nice sturdy chair. We don't want to have any broken ankles or anything at home, please. <laughs> okay, so you're going to start with basically taking a normal step on the chair, and then you're going to push up through the heel as well. So push up, stand nice and tall, and then slowly back down, lean chair slightly forward, and then slowly back down. Now, a common mistake here is people tend to use the, uh, the back leg and push off it like that. Yeah. So what you want to do is make sure that when you do it, you have a little bit of a boost from the back leg, but mostly it's all the front leg. So essentially, you really want the leg 
leg that's on the chair to get the entire workout here. Absolutely. And the one that's on the floor is merely just a springboard. But we really want to concentrate on these muscles going up on the chair without losing our balance, but also down in a very sturdy motion. Absolutely. Now these are really good. This one and the, st the staggered stance deadlifts is a really good one for the glutes. A lot of people think that squats are the, be the better exercise yeah. for the glutes. It's actually, it's a really good exercise for your legs in general, but if you want to really focus on the glutes, what you want to do is focus on the, the movement of the hips forward and back. Oh, wow. So that's why pushing through the heel here and doing more of a deadlift variation is a much uh, better alternative if you really want to focus on that. that yes, Jared, activity. you break those myths, <laughs> King. You break those myths. Take us through the very last exercise. Okay, so the last one is going to be on your back. It's an ab exercise. Yes, my fave. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to start. Now, it's deceptive because it looks easy, but I promise you it's, it's kind of not. Okay, so you're going to start basically um, with your arms just kind of here and you're going to crunch sideways and then up to the middle and then down, crunch other side and then back to here. So you're basically doing... <laughs> <laughs> I'm about so Jared, you're trying to kill me. <laughs> and then go the opposite direction, so the same thing. There we go. So you want to... How far up can I go when I'm doing the semicircle? So you don't want to go all the way up that, you, that you're sitting up, but you just want to go as far as your core can allow you to go. So okay. just, it's all about control. So really exhale as you go up, and then as you come down, you inhale and back down again. Nice. Okay. Now, disclaimer guys, this is not going to give you abs, unfortunately. <laughs> So now the fitness myth is that people think that the more uh, crunches and ab exercises you do, you're going to get uh, more abs. Yeah. Now you can, you will get uh, stronger abs, but the only way that you can get proper abs is by actually uh, stripping away the body fat. So that's oh, about, wow. um, that's where your diet is going to come in. So if you're going to fix the, the diet and nutrition, that's how you're going to slowly start to see the abs are going to start to show. I'm definitely here for the abs. I'm here for that snatched body and that snatched figure. South Africa, whether you're watching online or on the television, please use that hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments. If you will be working along with us. But Jared, as we say goodbye to you, South Africa, don't go anywhere because we've got more Wellness Wednesday coming up. <laughs>
nothing beats the long-lasting freshness and quality taste of Clover Fresh Milk. Made with love by Clover. You heard it right. It's made with love by Clover and we're making some love here in the kitchen with our delicious recipe today. So if you need to impress someone with something a little fancy, well, creme brulee is always the answer. But fear not, we've simplified the steps for you to make it a foolproof recipe that you can, that'll have you looking like a master chef, which is what we're trying to do, right? We want master chefing people here. Let's get it. We want get you it. to take the simple ingredients you have at home and then look like the master chef that you are. You know? Okay, so what are you doing over here? I am just going to be roasting these real quick. What are those? We have, okay, what are those? <laughs> we have cardamom, we have cinnamon, we have black pepper. Okay. And some cloves. And why exactly are you toasting them? What's the I'm toasting them? them so that we can just, they are aromatics. Mm -hmm. So you want to smell the freshness. Very, very true. Of the slices. Very, very true. So if you want to get these details, guys, go to afternoonexpress.co.za because like she said, like uh, Raw Ginger just said right now, we're toasting it up because we want to release the flavor. We want to release the oils. We want to release the aromatics of it to actually taste it when we put it into the milk. So what I've gone and done here is I've just added our amazing clover fresh milk into our pot. And then I'm going to go in with the rest of the ingredients. And most people will see from the ingredients we have here it's something very similar to uh, what what uh, is called haldi dud which is a spiced milk that is enjoyed by a lot of um, our North Asian people mm. who actually enjoy it as a drink as a milk that you can enjoy it's got so many nutrients in it it's got turmeric that is high in anti-inflammatory uh, um, enzymes and products and it's also um, good for your body so yeah. we've got some turmeric in there I've got because I am who I am I like to add a little bit of salt because the salt the sugar works well together and instead of sugar we've got some honey you want to keep it healthy. I mean, Palisa has been working out there in the, in the lounge. She needs to reboot. So we've got her covered here. And then all I'm going to do is mix this up together. And then whenever you're ready with those, you can add mm -hmm. them into this beautiful milk mixture. And I'm not sure if you can see South Africa, this beautiful yellow color. It's very gorgeous. It's a yellow bone. Actually, I really like, I'm so happy that today we are dealing with Indian spices. Cause okay. Everyone always asks me, Ginger, Chef Ginger. Um, what is your favorite meal to cook? And it's it's very difficult to answer that question because I've made so many meals mm -hmm. that I can't pick. But I always say, to make it simpler for you, I love a cuisine. Okay. Indian cuisine, the different flavors, oh. how just one spice can change the whole thing. I know, right? Because, I mean, look at this right now. We're using turmeric, cardamom, ginger, Stuff that you would normally also find in a, a curry, but mm -hmm. we're actually making something that's sweet and it's also so good for you. So I'm loving exactly what you're saying. So it makes absolute yes. sense. Please throw in those um, aromatics the in there. The smell. <laughs> I wish you guys. So normally the with smell. creme brulee South Africa, if you were to make it, there'd be eggs in here, cream. You'd want it to be nice and hot and then it, the eggs basically would be what stabilizes the mixture. But today we're using a, uh, a non-animal product, which is agar agar, which we just added to the last onto this mixture here oh excuse me and we're just going to whisk it up because what we wanted to do now the agar agar has to boil a little bit once it has boiled oh you wanna oh, okay once it has boiled i'm gonna then pour it into our ramekins over here and then these will then luckily just go into the fridge to set and the best thing about it is you don't have to worry about it being over baked or getting too dry uh, when you bake it because you don't need to bake it all that's going to happen now is that we're going to pour this into our jug strain it and then put these in the fridge and basically almost like a panna cotta but nicer i feel like everyone's biggest fear and biggest flaw when it comes to creme brulee is over baking it. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're eating baked eggs. <laughs> That's a nightmare. That so is this, it, this makes it so much easier for you. You know how they are like, it's egg set desserts? This is not. So the, uh, the what do you pronounce it? Agar, agar, uh. right? Yeah, that, <laughs> that helps it sit. So I love this. I appreciate it. It's for everyone's trying to be fancy. So while you're doing that, I'm just going to show the South, South Africa the rest of this. So you're going to strain that into here. And then South Africa, once you've put it in the fridge and it's set, it's going to come out like this. And all we do 
is just torch it up and get that beautiful creme brulee part, which is basically creme brulee stands for burnt cream. And this is what we're doing. Burning the top part, it's going to have that nice solid sh sugar layer on top. And then we're just going to crack it up with a little bit of a, a spoon then get it nice and toasty, beautiful. And this is it. And if you want to get your hands on this recipe, South Africa, head on over to afternoonexpress.co.za. But in case you missed the steps, here's a quick recap. Oh, gee. Yes, South Africa, we are having desserts for dinner. The dinner can see us next time. I'm so excited to just touch base with the ladies as we wrap up today's show because some powerful things were said today. Yes. I walked away with quite a lot. We had some celebrations. We had some working out, some sweat. But mm -hmm. I want to find out from you ladies, what did you most identify with? What did you connect with on today's Wellness Wednesday? For you, Ginger? For me, as much as, ooh, okay, TikTok, it's a touchy subject for us who are older, but I enjoy, I enjoy that, that the, the, like, the lady that was here, that ooh, she, she, like, she's just so vibrant and just, it's all about the love and happy, that's, that's it for me. Yeah, she's definitely so herself. Yeah. Um, she's authentic, she's real. She's on some accept me as I am, and I love that. For yourself, Dumza? This is something I've been preaching. Self-love is the best love. Dreamville said it, and I am fully on that. And when you say self-love, I don't mean that I'm putting down any other form of love. I'm not talking about relationship love. I'm not talking about mother and child love. Mm. I'm talking about loving yourself with unapologetically to the point where you don't need someone to validate the love you have for yourself. Yeah. And that's that's what stood out for me. But before I carry on, I just want to show South Africa, once Crack. you've done that, Crack. we cracked the creme brulee. And Ooh. we're going in. That <laughs> cracked that perfectly. I'm so excited to dive into all of this creme brulee. But before I get into the Ooh. sweetness, so I can still engage, Yabo South Africa, because <laughs> we've been asking you to engage throughout the show, essentially asking on social media, you know, what are you most looking forward to as we get into the end of 2020? Raw Ginger, I know you already gave us a little bit of tips and tricks, but what are you most looking forward to? Is it family time? Is it Christmas or is it New Year? Mm -hmm. Um, definitely family time because for me, Christmas Christmas is all about family. Mm -hmm. I don't celebrate Christmas. That's okay. But we just use it as another day to mm. spend with family. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I like about the festive season. It's all about family time. Whether you celebrate Christmas or not or Hanukkah, mm -hmm. it is just all about the love. And speaking mm -hmm. about love, if we head over to social media, we've got Udipuo who says, hashtag Afternoon Express. I'm looking forward to find a job so that I can provide for my family, my kids and my mother. We're definitely sending all of our goodwill all to you because you deserve it. You deserve to be able to be the breadwinner you want to be. Ladies, I'm looking forward. The, the year the, the year is almost done. The country is open. I can finally start doing my catering gig. So if you want to holler at a girl and you want a <laughs> private event and you need someone to cook it up for you in the kitchen, go to Afternoon Express <laughs> and then you will find to meet you me and I'll be there. I will cook for you. I Get got it. you. Get it. <laughs> Talk about a self-plug. I don't know. Listen, we were saying the hustle earlier. Mm, we we're hustle. saying about stepping out of your boundaries and getting out there. Mm. South Africa, you just heard Tumi is going to be catering by Lisa's Christmas dinner or lunch. Gonke. Oh. Okay, so people are definitely... Are you ready for your DMs and, to, and your inbox to be flooded? With it's a professional request, guys. I'm not saying... Don't, I, I don't want love. <laughs> I'm happy. I want money. Okay. I know. That's your business, book and busy. Oh, join us again tomorrow for a fun Fashion Express Thursday as we meet one of your Miss Essay top 10 finalists. But until then, Mzanti, good night. Stay safe and happy eating. Thanks for joining us, girl. <laughs> Clover has been a part of our South African heritage for over 120 years and wishes you all a happy Heritage Month made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.